Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to something which is going to be slightly different today. Still going to be connected to coffee, still going to be rather festive, but it's going to be slightly different. In our house, at Christmas time, we have a tradition. Every Christmas morning, we always have a glass of Books Fizz. This year, I really wanted to do something slightly alternative, and this has brought us here to what I am going to call Buzz Fizz. Now, I've done my research, and Buzz Fizz was actually invented by a bartender of the Books Club in London in the 1920s. It was basically invented so you would have a good excuse to drink alcohol a little bit earlier than normal. Obviously, that has been taken and it has now become a tradition in quite a lot of households around the UK. It got me thinking, what can I do which is a little bit alternative to a book's fizz? How could this be connected to coffee? Cascara, I thought. What can I do with cascara that I could add to champagne or sparkling wine to make it into an alcoholic drink for the morning? Cascara is the husk or the skin of the coffee cherry. So the coffee seeds are inside the cherry and before coffee started to be roasted, brewed and drank as the drink we know today, people were drinking in certain cultures and countries the cherry. So they were peeling the cherry, drying the cherry, brewing the cherry as almost like a tea. And it is wonderful. It, it's almost hibiscus quality, it's quite tart, less caffeine in than coffee, which is great. If we're going to mix that with alcohol, then we're going to have something which is going to pep us up and get us ready for, for Christmas morning. So I thought, why not make a cascara syrup, add that to a sparkling wine, and then we've got an alternative to Buck's Fizz. We have got Buzz Fizz. This next part of the video, I'm going to make Buzz Fizz. Let's go. And welcome. I guess we should get some ingredients. Right, let's make the syrup. So, so simple, I'm going to do it sitting down. Um, I've played around with this recipe quite a bit, and I know a simple syrup you should really use equal quantities of each. But I've played around with the recipe a little bit, and um, I find that this works. It's not too heavily sweetened, um, it gives you just the right amount of tartness from the uh, cascara and it, it, it just comes together really nice and works really nice with the sparkling wine. So basically what I've got is I've got 100 grams of cascara, I've got 500 grams of water and I've got 150 grams of sugar. Now you could do this with a manner of different fruits but obviously we want to get into the cascara. Cascara, when it first came on the market I think people didn't really know what to do with it, it was a bit of a novelty food thing um, and people didn't really know how to get the best out of it. Everybody was brewing it as teas and um, probably not getting the best out of it but as an, as an ingredient it is absolutely delicious and if you do try this and you do get your hands on some cascara try this out because it is absolutely excellent, it just adds another layer to a really great, really great drink. So, pretty simple, we're going to get cooking, we want to add everything in to the pan together, so it's really simple, so you want to turn it on, put it on a pretty high heat, so get your cooker hob going, you want to get your water in first, get your sugar in, seconds, give that a little bit of a stir, just to let it dissolve a little bit, then you want to drop your cascara in. The cascara will then start to soak up all of the water and start to infuse. So you want to get every last bit covered 
in the water. Now with a simple syrup it's not going to take very long, we're going to bring it up to a boil really quickly and then we're going to let that simmer and then it's going to reduce probably by about a third of the water. Um, keep checking on it obviously and um, you just want to let it go. I mean induction is really good because it's, this is going to start bubbling pretty quickly which I can already see it bubbling now um, and then we're going to let it infuse, do its thing, start to turn really nice and sticky and syrupy and, um, and then we're going to strain it. So let's wait. That has been bubbling away nicely for the last 10 minutes and oh man it smells really rich and almost like dates it's so so the depth of flavor in there just oh man it smells absolutely delicious almost a little bit peachy as well so that's doing its job um, basically it's reduced by about a third now the liquid um, you want it to sort of coat the spoon nicely, but you don't want it to go too syrupy because you still want to be you still want it to be pliable. You want to be able to work it into the cup. You don't want it to um, stick everywhere. So what we're going to do now is we're going to clean up and we're going to strain it. Let's strain. So basically, if you're into coffee, you've probably got one of these at home. Um, this is what I had to hand. Really, don't have any sieves, so I'm going to use a V60 paper. And I'm just going to decant it straight from the pan into the paper. Syrupy goodness. Oh, it smells great. Right, we're going to let that do its thing. And it will have reduced, so we won't get the full 500 grams of liquid, but the cascara's infused. The liquid is pouring nice and freely. As that cools, it'll start to syrup up a little bit and um, we should have something that is ready to go. Oh man. That is, that's, that's great, that's great. Right, let's let that do its thing. Right, and this is the moment we've all been waiting for. So, what have I got? I've got my scales, got my Prosecco, got my nice, delicate, Champagne glass, an orange for garnish, and I've got my bottle of buzz. Right, so we're going to get this made. Set of scales, weigh this out. You want to stick to a recipe, you know us coffee guys love a set of scales. So, as always, we're going to weigh it out. Um, but first of all, let's get this popped. Let's hope I can be as elegant as possible. This is the best part, this is the best part. Right, here we go, let's hope this hasn't been shaken up. So, I've gone for a organic Prosecco, and the reason why I've gone for Prosecco, really, is because Champagne is quite pricey, and um, for a good one anyway, but it tends to be quite biscuity and briochey in its aftertaste and I wanted something that was going to complement the, the sweetness and the tartness and the fruitiness of the cascara syrup. So I've gone for a uh, sparkling wine which are normally more fruity in flavour especially on the nose and this has got characteristics of sort of fresh green apple and pear so these two will really complement each other and it's also extra dry as well because I didn't want a sweet wine I wanted a dry wine because the syrup is quite sweet we use a lot of sugar so hopefully this is going to balance out the two so without further ado let's pop the cork that's way there we go steady steady we're open right let's get this poured so like with every good thing you need a recipe this cup would generally hold about 170 um, grams so what I'm gonna do is give us a really good cup a really good glass I'm gonna give us start with the syrup I'm gonna give us 
20 grams of syrup to start. You can see how it's still really pliable, nice and syrupy, nice and sweet. 20 grams of syrup. This is obviously going to be to your taste. Um, it, is, it is quite sweet with the sugar, um, but that fruity tartness is still coming through. So um, 20 grams to uh, 150 grams of sparkling wine. Ooh, look at that. Looks excellent. And then for a little nod, to the traditional books fizz, I'm going to garnish it with a little bit of orange zest. Give that a nice little squeeze, rub some around the rim to get that really nice orangey flavour. Drop that in, let it do its thing, fizzing away nicely. And there you have it, the Buzz Fizz. Give it a try, you won't be disappointed. I'll be drinking this on Christmas morning, along with a festive blend. Merry Christmas. Oh, it's delicious, absolutely delicious. The cascara come, really comes through. It's sharp from the dry, the dryness and the fruitiness of the, of the Prosecco and then you've got this real depth of flavour coming through with the, with the sweet, almost tangy cascara in there and then the orange zest just makes it pop out of the glass. It's absolutely delicious. Hopefully everyone in the family is going to enjoy it as well on Christmas morning. Give it a try. Let me know if you do give it a try. Thanks for watching, see you in the new year.